everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is our Christmas home tour. It's finally here. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get it out, but I am a stay at home mom and my little boy is with me 24 seven. And so it's kind of hard for me to film, okay, a video where I need it to be quiet. That's kind of hard to do because he is, like I said, with me all the time. And so, I have to find a moment that's quiet and the house is quiet, no noise, and that it's clean is kind of hard to do. So I'm finally getting around to getting it out to you all. So I hope you all enjoy it. You'll have to let me know in the comments what's your favorite part about Christmas and decorating and all that kind of stuff. Do you like the decorating? Do you like the baking? Do you like um, the wrapping presents, I love wrapping presents. Like as soon as I get a present bought, I bring it home and I wrap it. Or if it comes in the mail, I wrap it as soon as it comes in the mail. So that's probably one of my favorite things to do, like festive things to do is to wrap presents. So y'all have to let me know in the comments what yours is and let's get started with the video. So walking into the front door, the first thing that you see is this little chest that I have set up and on it I have this little flocked Christmas tree that I got from Walmart and then I just put some of these little um, wire lights on it. I forget what they're called but they're battery operated so I just put some of those on there and then this little I got this tin house from Joan Fabrics and then I got this little house white house from Target Dollar Spot I believe and I actually bought this when it was like fall and Halloween stuff, but I knew I'd want that for Christmas, so I went ahead and picked it up. So that is a big tip for, if you're looking for a cheap and expensive house decor that looks good, look in the Target Dollar Spot, because sometimes you will find some pretty cute things. And then I wanted something to add to this area to not like make it just be kind of blank, but I didn't want to be too overdone. And I had this berry garland that I got a few years back in the Target dollar spot. And so I just added it there. I usually put it somewhere else in the house, but I decided to just put it there. And then above that, I have this little sign that I got at Walmart that says fresh cut Christmas trees. And I just kind of thought it all tied together really well, the little red berry garland or whatever you want to call these with the sign just kind of all tied everything up and then I also have this pillow in this basket and I actually ordered those off of Amazon and they came in a pack of four they were the pillowcase covers so you have to supply the pillows to put, um, to put inside the pillowcase cover but um, yeah really inexpensive for four of them now moving on to where we put our stockings hang our stockings we do not have a fireplace in our house so i have to be um creative and i just hang our stockings right here and i have just simple stop stockings from hobby lobby and i got all these name tags last year off of a website called jane.com and so i just had all our names up and on the shelves I have another one of these houses that I picked up in the Target dollar spot and then this tree is from Hobby Lobby and then this thing right here is from Walmart and this little sign my mom actually picked up for me so I just set it up there and I have these little candle pillars up year round and so do I with this little house and this wreath and then this amber bottle, I got that at a flea market type thing, fairly inexpensive, and I keep that up year round as well as those candle sticks. Right, now we are going to walk into the living room and I do try to keep things pretty simple for the most part. And right here, I just have this, another one of these trees that I got from Hobby Lobby and then I just stacked it with these books and another one of the pillowcases that I got from Amazon. And then I set up this here. It's just a little Christmas tree with, I added some ball lights and this little white house. 
and some garland. And then over here on the couch, I have another one of those pillows. And then I picked up these um, furry pillows from a store in our town called Gordman's. I really wanted fur type pillows for the couch or like this fuzzy white. I just really liked the way it looked. I thought it looked really pretty for Christmas and then you could carry them on into winter. And I got these really cheap. I ended up getting them for like $3.50 each a pillow. So it was a really, really good deal. Here's the Christmas tree. And we got our Christmas tree at Walmart. It is a flock tree. I really like it. My only complaint about it is I feel the branches are kind of sparse so you can see through it um, kind of. So I don't love that. But I do love the flock look. I love the way it just looks so pretty when it's all lit up and all decorated. And on it, I just put some simple red ornaments and some simple cream ones. And then I have these right here that I actually got at Target. And then I have these right here that I picked up um, from Hobby Lobby. And then I got this one from Joann Fabrics. And then this one came from Target. And um, all of these came from TJ Maxx. So, but most of them, most of the tree is just filled with the simple red and cream ornaments. And then down by the tree, I have um, some pillows. I'm gonna have to start moving them out because we are starting to wrap presents and it's starting to get full down there. And then I just set my lanterns on the other side of it. And then for my tree skirt, I mentioned this in my Christmas Decorate With Me video, I just used a throw blanket. So that is my Christmas tree or our Christmas tree. Tree, you're gonna walk into where our dining table is. And I just went pretty simple in here. Um, I got this table runner from a place downtown in our little town. And I really love the way it looks, just super simple. And then I have this pot that I got back in the springtime from Target. And I just set this little Christmas tree inside it. And I love like the really done up tables. Like I would love to get some of the um, wicker placemats and do a couple plates and things, but I haven't been able to find the wicker placemats. And I know they have them, them at Ikea, but I don't live close to an Ikea. So I just have to wait for Hobby Lobby to get them back in the springtime. But, and also I have to keep it pretty simple because we eat at this table every day. So I need it to be, like I said, pretty simple to where it's not a lot of fuss when we go to eat. I just have um, this tree right here set up that came from Walmart. And I have these little houses that I have up year round. I just thought they went with the decor really well. And they added some fill or a little bit of filler to the space. And then I got this garland from the Target Dollar Spot and I did two of them to kind of fluff it up and make it look a little bit fuller. And I just took these candle pillars that I have up year round and added this really pretty um, I don't know really what these are called, like candle ring things. <laughs> but I just added those to each of them. And in the Christmas decorate video, I had the same size candles, but it didn't really look good enough or didn't look, didn't look right. So I went ahead and added two different size candles. So this one's a little bit smaller and that one's a little bit taller. And then I picked up these little white trees from the Target Dollar Spot as well. kitchen and I try to keep the kitchen very simple I feel like my decor for the most part is very simple but for the kitchen I try to keep it very simple because I am in here quite a bit and um, yeah when it's up here for you know the Christmas decorations are up for about a month and a half or so I just don't want it to be overwhelming because then by the end of it I'm sick of them so I try to keep it pretty simple but above the microwave I just put these little wreaths that I got from Walmart up there and I just love the little touch it makes and it kind of makes the kitchen look really Christmassy but they're up and out of the way and then over here I have 
this little setup thing and on it I just laid this little dish towel and this little Christmas tree that I got at the Target dollar spot along with this Christmas book that I got at the Target dollar spot as well. Over here I just placed, I got one of these jars actually at the Target spot as well. I actually picked this up back in the fall knowing that I wanted to use it for Christmas and I just took some Epsom salt and put one of these little Christmas trees inside it and then I just have this little thing that my mom got me a few years ago. And then of course, some festive Mrs. Myers. This little wreath up here on the cabinet, I thought it added just a touch of festiveness, Christmas festive up there. So yes, that is it for the kitchen and what I have done in our kitchen. In my little boy's room, he puts up a little tree that has multicolor lights on it and we just try to put ornaments on it that are sentimental to us or ones that he has made in Sunday school class and as you can see he just adds to the tree pretty much whatever he wants <laughs> um, but we got these at Cracker Barrel a few years ago and so he puts those on there and then like these little ornaments right here they're actually kind of big compared to the tree but um, my husband and I made these the day we found out what he was and that's how we announced he was a boy with this ornament right here and then some of these he made in Sunday school like this right here I'm not sure where he got this one at but all the other pieces have fallen off and then I just picked up some of this stuff at Hobby Lobby I don't know when I did maybe last year I don't know and kind of it with it um he put on this one right here that my mom gave me and then my mom gave him this one right here and so he put that one on there and then just some simple other little ornaments and then up on his shelf I just put this up here we got that from Hobby Lobby a few years ago and then I put this thing right here up there I actually got this at a little store in a little town called Shipshuana and so we put this in his room this year. And that's it right there. Dresser, he actually did this. He put these three little trees right there and then he picked out this little village house from the Dollar Tree. And that is it for his bedroom. And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed and we'll catch you next time.